Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabatiki. In this video, we will explore how to send messages to a specific partition. Equally important, how to consume them from that very same partition. It's a bit like magic, but with Kafka, it's all about control and precision. So we'll start with brushing up Kafka internal workflow and then we'll move into the Kafka partitioning demonstration. Okay, so in Kafka ecosystem, once producer send bulk messages, it will split into different partition. Okay, so let's say I have sent thousand of messages, then each and every message can't be guaranteed that it will go to the same partition. It will go to the multiple partition, the number of partition we have in our broker. Similarly, consumer will consume from all the partition. So this is the typical Kafka pop sub mechanism, right? Now, how you can ensure your message go exactly where you want them to go? Maybe you want to optimize the data processing or improve load balancing. Then how you can control that? I want my producer will send all the messages to a single partition. And same, I want my consumer to read from a single partition. How you can make the control on this partition? That is what I am going to demonstrate in this video. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So this is the Kafka producer example and here we have the Kafka consumer example. This is what the example we are starting learning from the Kafka series beginning, right? I am taking the same example to just demonstrate on this Kafka partitioning. Okay. So what we will do? First I will create a topic with couple of partition. Then first we will see the general behavior or the default behavior. How the messages are getting splitted to the different partition. Then we will understand how we can make a control on that, how I can send message to a specific partition rather than sending it to all the partition. Then we'll move to the consumer and we'll read from a specific partition. Okay. So first let me create a topic. So you know the command to create the topic, right? Kafka topic SS, then provide the topic name and then provide the number of partition and replication factor. So the topic name I am creating here, Java Techie hyphen topic, just enter it. So now this topic is created with five partition count. Okay. Can you see here? The partition count is five. It means now we can distribute our messages to different five partition. Fine. So I will copy this topic name. Then I will go to the consumer. I will just change here. Then I will go to the producer. I will just change here. Now simply start your producer and start your consumer. But make sure before you play with your producer and consumer, you should start your Zookeeper and Kafka server. Okay. So I have already started both the server. Now I have started my producer and consumer. Then we'll publish the message and we'll verify. Meanwhile, I will open the offset explorer. Then I will refresh the topic. So we created this topic, right? Java Techie hyphen topic. I'll just go inside this topic. There is no data because we have not published anything, right? So I cannot see anything here. Let's see if the producer and consumer is up. So producer is up and running. Also consumer is up and running and the consumer group is assigned to the three partition of my topic. Sorry, five partition of my topic. Can you see here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's fine. Just go to the producer and we'll just publish couple of messages. So this is what the messages, I mean, this is what the method I want to execute. Who will use the template to send the messages. Now, if I'll see here, this is what the controller. Now here I am sending 10,000 messages. So if I'll send bulk messages, then only I can differentiate. Okay. All the messages is going to different partition. If I'll send one messages, then simply it can go to the any single partition, right? So that is the reason I am sending the bulk messages here. And yeah, I need to hit this particular endpoint. So let me go to the browser or I will go to the postman. This is where the endpoint I will send some messages like welcome. Okay. Now let me send this. 
so all the message has been published here you can see the messages now to verify that okay all the messages is goes to the topic i will go to this offset explorer and i will simply refresh this then if i will execute this i can see bunch of messages right and now let's see how many messages went to each partition so the number of partition we have is 5 can you see here 0 1 2 3 4 i mean begin from the 0 it is 5 now let's see the number of messages in each partition partition 0 contains 2242 messages partition 1 contains 3206 partition 2 1843 partition 3 709 partition 4 2001 okay I mean we have sent 10,000 messages now different messages went to different partition and we can see the number of messages hold in each partition right so now that, that is what the typical uh, producer flow I mean uh, whenever you are published the messages messages will distributed to different partition but I want to make the control here I want to send messages to a single partition from this topic I might need to perform the data processing or optimization so I might need to send the messages to a single partition let's say I want to send to the partition 3 how I can do that that, that is what we are going to learn here right so simple thing you need to tell to the Kafka template while sending the messages to which partition you want to put these messages that thing you need to tell to the Kafka template now how you can tell that simple go to your code go to the Kafka template where, where exactly you are sending the messages now here if you will open this send method this is the overloaded method in the template class can you see here topic and data topic key and data and here is the method topic now you can tell here which partition you want to send your messages you can specify the partition along with the key key is something which will help you to avoid duplicate message in Kafka that will cover in the separate session but this is where the method you can use to specify to which partition you want to send the messages so just do the simple code change go to the publisher and tell that okay I want to send to partition 3 and just pass the key I mean for now I will pass the null I don't want to play with the key at this moment so now all the messages will send to this partition so shall we verify that simple thing just go to the controller I'll just reduce the message count I want to send 100 messages okay now it will go to the partition 3 so just verify we want to send into this partition the current message count is 709 and we will push the 100 more messages okay so simply I will just restart my producer so producer is up and running now go to the postman I will just send some different message let's say user and it will trigger 100 user messages that is what we are just looping in the code right we are sending 100 with the user count user 1 2 3 like 100 now let me send the request all the messages has been sent can you see here send message user 93 and this is what the partition and also if you will observe in the consumer okay what is the problem here okay so that's fine we will we'll come to the consumer because we have defined your object and we are sending the string that is the reason this consumer is crying but we will do the code change once we will demonstrate the consumer part okay that's fine now just go to the offset explorer see the count is 709 right and we have pushed 100 more messages so just let me refresh this then simply come to the partition 3 can you see here the count is 810 earlier it was 709 right now all the 100 messages is come to partition 3 only now similarly this is how you can manage in the producer part and you can specify to which partition you want to send the messages like this you just need to specify the partition number that's it now this is what we understand from the producer perspective now whatever all the messages we are sending to a partition or the broker is being consumed by my consumer right now I don't want my consumer to look into all the partition I want to tell to my consumer hey consumer can you please read into a specific partition for example from partition 3 or partition 2 not from all 
how I can do that. We understand from the producer perspective how to push the message to a specific partition. Now we just need to start implementing from the consumer perspective how can my consumer read from a specific partition. Okay. So it's very simple. You just need to play with the annotation. Just go to the consumer. Okay. Let me stop this first. Then I will just do one thing. I will just copy this or I can create different instance. Okay. I will take the input as a string because that is what I am sending from my producer. So it found the object which is not able to deserialize. So that is the reason we are getting the error in the consumer. That is fine. Now here in the listener here exactly in the Kafka listener you need to specify from which partition you want to execute this consumer to consume the messages that is what you can just simply define by just writing the topic partition okay now in this topic partition you can simply just define here at the rate topic partition now you just need to define the what is the topic name and what is the partition count you want to read the topic name you can define the same topic name from where you want to consume and then you can just define the partition count. The count I want to read it from let's say from partition 2. Okay. I want to read it from partition 2. That's it. So this is how you can control from your consumer perspective to read from a specific partition. Okay. That's fine. Now let's verify that. So now I will just use the different topic Java Techie topic 1. Fine. And then, okay, let it be. I mean, better I will just comment this, okay. Now also go to the producer and I will just change your Java Techie topic 1. Rather than doing like this, what I will do, I just want to send messages to the different partition. Then I can prove that, okay, my consumer is reading from the specific partition what I have mentioned there. So for that, what I can do, Kafka template or what I have different template, right? template dot send messages to I mean I will just simply copy this right so what is the messages I'll just define let's say hi then something some random string okay I'm sending multiple messages to the same topic to different partition one two okay first let me see what number we have specified two right so I will send more messages to the partition 2. So I am sending to all the partition but I want my consumer to read from only these two partition. Okay, I mean this is the same partition. My consumer should receive only these two messages because these two messages went to partition 2. So just change the messages. Okay, so welcome and YouTube should my consumer consumed. I mean that is what we can find in my consumer console. Let's verify that. So looks good. We have specified the topic name correctly. Now we just need to create this topic with five partition. Okay. So go to the terminal. Just run this. The topic name the same Java Tiki topic one. Fine. The topic is created. Let's verify that topic is created. Yeah. Topic is here. We don't have any messages it contains five partition fine so what i'll do i'll just start my producer and my consumer as well so both are up and running let's verify the producer all good let's go to the consumer in consumer if you observe the console statement consumer client id this is where the consumer group group id is this Resetting offset for partition Java Techie topic 1 2. Can you see here? This is the topic name Java Techie hyphen topic 1 and it is only listening to partition 2. That is what you can see in the statement itself. Page position offset from the 0. I mean, it's just telling that okay, read it from the partition 2. That is what I can understand from this console. Now let's hit the endpoint and we'll verify. I'll send the, some some messages, okay? Because anyway, it is not going to print. We have hard coded the value while sending the messages. Send the request. 
message has been sent now if you will go and check in the topic just open the data why it send a lot of messages okay oh it's sending on the loop yeah that's fine but let's see the number of messages in the partition 2 202 now let's see the consumer go to the consumer see consumer only consume the method i mean messages welcome and youtube because it's in the loop so it's send multiple i mean 100 messages so can you see here it only receive welcome and youtube because only youtube and welcome these two messages we are sending to partition 2 in our producer can you see here welcome and youtube so it is clearly state that my consumer is listening to only partition 2 because i cannot see this hi hello java tiki these messages in my consumer console okay so we cannot let, let me filter it okay we have not seen this no no right but only welcome and youtube can you see here the count is itself is 101 and youtube it should be same 101 okay that's it i mean this is how you can play with the kafka partition to specify while publishing the messages and specify the partition while consuming the messages this is sometimes required whenever there is some uh, message event failed in the production you might need to republish the event okay and that time you might need to play with this partition kind of concept so just give a try and let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video Meet you soon with a new concept.